guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the mighty.com article and the title of this article is called Michigan Mum Creates Ambulance Sensory Kits for Autistic Children. So what happened for her to do this? Amber Horton who lives in Michigan who is also an EMT looked around her community as she realised there are many ways her five year old son Max who is autistic could be easily overstimulated. Recognising the need for greater awareness and education within her own profession, Horton created sensory kits to help paediatric patients cope with an ambulance sirens and bright flashing lights and place them in every ambulance within her company's fleet. Each kit contains a weighted pad, noise cancelling earmuffs, sunglasses and communication tools that can help autistic kids tell first responders where they are hurting. Horton told M Live Michigan that she's also teaching every EMT in her company to support patients on the spectrum who have sensory issues. So what is the front lines that she's saying? The front lines is autistic char characteristics generally appear by two years of age. Neurodiverse characteristics include difficulty communicating in typical settings, restrictive or repetitive behaviours to self-regulate and sensory sensitivities. One in 54 children within the USA is on the autistic spectrum. Autism occurs in all racial, ethnic and socio-economic groups. Autism is diagnosed four more times more often in boys and girls. And that's because of significant evidence that is underdiagnosed within girls and women. And I want to talk about my own personal opinion for this article. I really, really like it. It's really well done. And I like the fact that she's an EMT, which is an emergency services worker. And I like the fact she has an autistic son. So she talks from her own personal experiences and how she feels that she can help her company be more autism aware and more accepting of autistic children and how to best support them in their times of need during a medical emergency with their families and by putting these sensory kits into the ambulances it's going to show that they're trained that they're listening they're supporting the autistic child or autistic adult who may need them any time in the next future or the next few days few weeks so I think this is just a really good way of communicating, getting that rapport built up, the relationship built up, so that they feel secure, they feel safe with the medical workers in the ambulance, and also they're not going to get so distressed that they may become violent or overstimulated or anxious because when they hear the noise, all they're going to hear is that flashing and the colour, and it's going to overstimulate them to have anxiety, panic attacks, or if they have over comorbid conditions so if they're ADD or ADHD it might trigger their sensory issues in regards to that as well so as someone on the autistic spectrum here in the UK I would love for something like this to happen over here I think it would be a beneficial way of the UK ambulances um, being more autism aware and not just autism aware but disability aware I think having some sensory kits in the back of each ambulance would be a fantastic benefit to the companies I think also that would encourage a lot more disabled communication from disabled patients and their families. Having a sensory kit for them to be distracted and to fiddle with would help them feel better, more safe, that they can trust you. And what I would like to see happen is for my local ambulance to get in touch with me. And you can get in contact with me on my Twitter, which is at Gemma underscore gems one and we can talk about how we can best collaborate to get some sensory kits put back into the ambulances and how we could achieve that in a safe way to help not just autistic patients but your disabled patients who you deal with and I think just for me if I was to go in the back of an ambulance anytime soon as a patient if I was to have a sensory kit like that I would really use it and benefit from it I think it would lower my anxiety my confidence issues the fact that I feel overstimulated because I'm ill or would be ill. I don't think if it wasn't for them sensory kits, I'd probably would panic. And they don't know how to best help and support you. So I think by having these sensory kits, it would improve communication, the professional rapport. It would increase the communication from the doctors once you're in hospital to best treat you and best support you the best way they know how to. By getting to know you as a person, not just a label. So I really like this I really like this article, I think it's fantastic, it's really good news that Michigan and the US has taken this step to do that and I think it's just a really positive way forward of working with professionals, working with the families, working with the person with actual autism involved and getting them to be the centre of the story.
So I think it also is about being appropriate and the way that we can move forward in how to best support all medical professionals about autism, not just EMTs, not just your ambulance workers, not just your nurses and doctors, but all the people behind the scenes who need it as well. But yeah, I thought this article was interesting. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!